Supply chain network optimization is the analysis that determines how many distribution centers we should have, where they should be, and what they should do. We perform supply chain network optimization by analyzing transportation, operating expense, and facility cost, including invested capital. In order to optimize a network, we first must determine what our priorities are. Priorities might be transportation expense. The priorities also can be service levels. When we optimize a network around service levels, we often incur additional expense, but we improve the service level to the customer, thereby providing the business with a competitive advantage. Service level optimization is greatly influenced by the number of facilities, the distance to the customer, and the location of those facilities as we move across the country. A typical optimized network for a two-day service level, for example, is seven to nine facilities. A network for a one-day service level is 12 to 15 facilities, depending upon the size and the volume uh, for each of the customers. Performing network optimization when we have changes in customer base or changes in product mix becomes very important as the requirements of each of the facilities will change and as the locations of the customers will change. We optimize the network again around the new customer base and the new product mix and the new volumes. If no major changes of business occur, you should perform supply chain network optimization approximately every three years just to recognize the, the changes in buying patterns of customers and the migration of the population around the U.S.